Look at this. Look at this. An unbelievable scene in Frederick, Maryland this afternoon after a tanker hauling fuel crashes and then bursts into flames. The driver died. Those flames, as you can see, spreading and damaging six nearby homes. I'm Mauricio Casillas. Thanks for joining us. We have team coverage of this breaking news story. Brad Freitas will take us above the scene in Chopper 4. Solange Sosa is gathering reaction from homeowners, but we begin this evening with the latest details on how exactly this all unfolded with News 4's Derek Ward. He joins us live in Frederick. Derek, what have you learned? Well, we're here at the uh, Frederick uh, Public Safety Center here. You see the fire academy behind us, and folks who uh, train here certainly put that training to work today. Now, this all happened at about noon. Take a look. The flames were intense. The fire is indeed out now, but this happened at about noon on Route 15, and sections of Route 15 remain closed northbound while they do some of the cleanup. Now, the driver of that tanker truck has died. We don't know his identity or what company he worked for, but it was the only only vehicle involved, according to Maryland State Police, who are handling that part of the investigation. And earlier here, we heard from the fire chief who said that the first calls that they got for this were for a house fire. Take a look. Within minutes, they began receiving multiple emergency calls for a vehicle explosion along Route 15 in the area of Rosemont Avenue and Schley Avenue. The Frederick County Division of Fire and Rescue Services units arrived on the scene within minutes to confirm one tanker truck hauling flammable liquid completely engulfed in flames with extension to three homes and three automobiles in the 500 block of Apple Avenue. There were rumors of some of this material uh, ending up in the city's sanitary um, sewer system, and we had no breach of the sanitary sewer system. Now, the mayor adds that his thoughts are with the uh, family of that driver who died and with those families who were displaced. Uh, he says that Frederick's drinking water is indeed safe, though they will do some environmental monitoring of uh, streams and waterways around there because they're not, they're not quite sure what the liquid was that was in that tanker or how much it was in there, whether it was diesel or gasoline. But there was no structured uh, evacuation of that neighborhood, we're told as well, because the fire chief said by the time they got there, uh, people who were in harm's way had evacuated themselves. Now, we do have a bit of an update from what we heard from the chief earlier. There were six homes that were damaged and five vehicles that were also damaged in that neighborhood from the fire. At least one of those homes has to be evacuated. The uh, people cannot return. The others suffered some damage like melted siding and things like that. But the investigation still continues. And again, you're going to run into some traffic problems on northbound Route 15 through that area while they get that area cleaned up and continue their investigation. We are live in Frederick. Derek Ward, News 4. Back to you. Derek, thank you. The images of this crash are dramatic, but the people who live near the crash scene, they found themselves in the middle of their own life or death drama this afternoon. Our team coverage continues now with Solange Sosa, who's in the neighborhood. Solange, what can you tell us? Mauricio Fire Authority said tells us that they were able to contain this fire in about 40 minutes. However, the blaze, the flames did reach to uh, homes and six vehicles. Six of those homes were damaged. One house suffered extensive damage. You can see the burned wood and melted roof in those images. That's the home of Mariano Fernandez, who whose home sits right on Rosemont Avenue, steps from where the blaze occurred. He says he was in his bedroom when he heard the explosion. That's when he tells us he went outside and opened the door to see that the flames had already reached the side walls of his home. He quickly acted, getting his kids out of the house. At that moment, I just thought about my children who were inside and to get them out and tell them that the house was on fire, that we should get out because we're going to burn. I'm thankful to my neighbors behind us who came to help me and check if everyone was okay. They helped me get the children out. 
you can see Mariano's house right now, how the grass is completely burnt and also the roof partially melted. Thankfully, no one was injured, but Mariano and his family can go back to their home. He tells us that the Red Cross came to help them and offer them three nights at a hotel until they figured out what to do. Live from Frederick, Solange Sosa, Mauricio, back to you. Solange, thanks so much. Still a very difficult night for the folks who live there. Now for a better look at the extent of damage from the air, let's continue our team coverage with Brad Freitas in Chopper 4. Chopper 4 showing the view from above of an absolutely massive scene here in Frederick, Maryland on Route 15 near Fort Detrick. You can see just how large of an area that fire ignited, the charred remains of the truck and surrounding brush, as well as several homes beyond the tree line showing devastating roof and siding damage from the blaze that multiple counties responded to battle. It was high wind gusts that actually kept Chopper 4 grounded for much of the afternoon, feeding that fire and making getting it under control extremely challenging for those first responders. From high above Frederick, Maryland, this is Brad Freitas, News 4. Route 15, which cuts right through the heart of Frederick, Maryland. And as you can see in this image, the crash still having a major impact on traffic. At the height of the crash, traffic was backed up for miles. Right now, we can tell you that part of northbound Route 15 is shut down, and officials say it'll remain closed for an extended period of time for the investigation as well as all that cleanup. Maryland Governor Wes Moore releasing a statement this afternoon on the tanker explosion in Frederick, which reads in part, quote, My heart goes out to those affected by this tragedy in Frederick. I'm in touch with County Executive Fitzwater, Mayor O'Connor, and the City of Frederick. The Maryland Department of the Environment, State Police, Office of the State Fire Marshal, and the Maryland Department of Transportation are on the scene of this tragic accident. We're continuing to monitor the situation closely, end quote. And we are, of course, working for you all this evening long on this developing story. Be sure to stay with us for the latest on air and online. And we will, of course, have much more on this story as it develops tonight on News 4 at 11.